This is how to shoot real estate videos on the Pocket 6K Pro. The most important thing when you're shooting real estate is the feedback that you get from your clients. So shooting on the Pocket 6K Pro, the feedback that I've had so far is, and this is a direct quote, which is, wow, this is better than anything else we've seen before. I'll go through my only two problems shooting real estate videos on the 6K Pro, but overall the 6K Pro and the A7S III are probably the two best cameras to use for real estate in my opinion. The reason I would use the 6K Pro over the A7S III, the image coming out of the 6K Pro sensor is natural and warm and the skin tones look beautiful and flares look amazing. The 6K Pro sensor makes things look amazing but realistic. The one piece of feedback that I had was sometimes it looked too unreal, like a little too good. Um, but that was mostly from my grading, making some of my interiors look too bright. So super easy fix. Um, I sat down with one real estate agent and he showed me their last video guy's work and it was great. It was fairly impressive, but it didn't look anywhere near as good as the 6K Pro. Their footage was, I think, from the A7S III and the A7S III footage looked a little bit dark. The skin tones were a little off and I think probably he graded it fairly badly. Into the two problems you need to know about before shooting real estate on the 6K Pro. One issue about the 6K Pro that you don't really think about is the fact that it's pretty heavy on a gimbal. So here in Australia, when the temperatures get a little bit hotter, you're really gonna start feeling just how heavy this camera is. The 6K Pro is a fairly big camera. It takes a little bit of struggling to get it onto a gimbal. I found a really good way to make it feel more balanced and responsive was to add a counterweight to the opposite side, which is actually just a Sony NPF 970 battery. This seems to be the perfect weight to counterbalance the heavy camera. Is the grainy footage once you push those ISO. Of course, you're gonna to want to shoot high ISO in order to maximize the dynamic range of the sensor, but unless you're going to shoot every single one of your projects at 6K raw at a very low compression, and then export that 6K down to 4K or 1080p, which generally has the effect of hiding the noise, and or using noise reduction, the footage is going to look noisy. Noisy enough that a non-camera person is going to say, this looks bad. Here's a real estate shoot where I was inside a very dark apartment um, where the noise was just passable in the shadows. So is the Pocket 6K Pro worth it when it comes to real estate videos? It 100% is, but you just need to be aware of the fact that it is a bit heavier, that the higher ISO ranges are a bit noisy. Those downsides said, I still think it's a pretty awesome camera and the feedback that I get from clients, they're really, really stoked. Let me know if you want to know more about the 6K Pro on a gimbal or earning money shooting real estate or growing your videography business. Subscribe to see these videos coming up and thanks for watching.